Hey YouTube clan members, it's me, Monkey Chicken here, and uh, the topic of today's video is how to cut, crop, and mask your videos in Sony Vegas 12. And with that, let's go and begin. Okay guys, so I would just like to start this video off by saying, um, I know when I first started looking how to like work on videos and edit them and stuff, the terminology that's used to do certain things in Sony Vegas may not be what you're used to do and like for like picture editing or anything else like that. So the reason why I'm clumping together how to do a group of things is because when I was searching for them, I didn't know what exactly to search. So let's say that like you were looking up how to crop, but instead you said cut. This way, hopefully at the certain point in the video that that comes up, you'll find the thing that you're looking for. So basically what I'm saying is, in the first couple seconds, if you see me do something that you're not looking for how to do, maybe wait to the end and you'll see the thing that you're looking how to do. So uh, yeah, let's, <laughs> after that confusing statement, let's get started. Let's add a video into the timeline here. And uh, really quickly, I wanna say, if you guys are like making videos and stuff, for gameplay, quick tip if you guys want to disable your switches here, uh, it'll disable your, your resampling and what resampling basically is if you want to know. It takes the previous frame and the current frame and meshes them together and combines them into like one thing This way to save space and memory and stuff. But that's mostly for like animations, but if you're not animating and you know, in, in the sense that you know like most of the background is all the same and only certain parts of the actual picture is moving around, it'll save memory. But since you know you're playing in FPS or something else and things are constantly that moving you don't want your frames to all mesh together because then it won't look right so um yeah that's a quick tip and uh yeah let's move, move on to the first thing one of the first things that you're looking for um how to cut so let's say that you know you're looking for a certain part and you go like oh yeah i want to get to the part where i first get my sentry gun we can back up here by going frame by frame or just you know holding it and it'll constantly just go backwards and if you hit s on your keyboard it'll slice it or cutting whatever you were looking for or whatever you want to call it and it'll slice that particular track and video and group together and really quickly a uh, really quick tip for you guys if let's say you had two videos on here pretend this is another video and you wanted to slice both of them if you make sure that nothing is selected so like this you see how nothing is selected you can also just grab it just by this it'll slice everything that is on your timeline at that one specific point but if you're looking for just slicing a specific track make sure that track is highlighted and hit s if you notice this bottom part down here didn't get sliced but once again make sure nothing is selected everything at that point will get sliced so yeah that's just a quick tip um let's quickly just kind of clean up our timeline here by just deleting everything ah oh, get out of here I'm just expand this <clears throat> So that's how you're able to cut or slice depending on what you're looking for. Now let me show you how to crop something. So if you guys go over here to this corner that has the standard little symbol and you say pan slash crop. If you click it, you have this little vent that pops up here on your right or depending on where you guys have it. And when you click it and kind of resize it, it'll change things around for you. And if you notice, if you grab the top part, it'll kind of, it'll just pull it up to the top and it resizes it here on your, your preview screen. But once again, if you're not clicked on the proper thing, cause it'll only show you from this um, particular moment in your timeline for your, uh, your preview panel. So kind of make sure that it's on the clip that you want it to be. You can also zoom out and whatnot. Um, it'll, it'll crop the thing. You're able to move it like, I wanted it in the upper right hand corner. You can do that. And if you're saying, oh no, I screwed up. I didn't know how to resize this thing. If you want, you can click restore and then it'll all go back to normal and whatnot. So that's something that you can do. You can also adjust it by here by saying, oh, I only wanted to move this thing to the left and right. This way I can precisely move it. I don't want to accidentally move it upwards. And then you can click it again and say, oh, I only want to move it upwards. I don't want to accidentally move it to the left and right right now. So if you see I'm moving it to the left, it's not going there. It's only going up and down so yep and then once again you can just go to restore by right clicking restore and then it'll all be good and then let's say that you wanted to do this you can go center and it'll center it out for you so yeah just a quick little thing and that's how you're able to pan and crop and whatnot as they call it and now I'll show you how to mask, which is I kind of call it cropping, because let's say that, uh, oh, let's go to position. Let's say that you wanted to put this clip or video in the upper right hand corner, be like, no, I didn't want it to be 16 by nine. I want it to be a square. How would I do that? Let's see. Oh, this, but wait, no, now I'm not able to put it in the upper right hand corner. It's taking up all the screen. Well, what you can do is go over here to your mask tool and highlight the thing that you wanted. So let's say I only wanted this portion of the clip. Boom. And as you see, only that part of the clip is actually being shown. So let's go over here to the position and you can see that I'm able to move it around and I actually put it in the upper right hand corner, but you gotta adjust this and boom. Now I have a nice little square in the upper right hand corner and I'm showing the thing that I want to show. And also if you wanted to do, you know, um, some kind of a, a slideshow in some way, 
Let's uh, reset the mask. You can say, okay, I want to put my position here. Let's start the starting point by adding a keyframe, which is basically a certain point in time that holds the data there. Let's skip ahead about four seconds. And let's say that at that time, I wanted to move in the upper right hand corner. So you can say, okay, let's, let's drag the crop here over to the top of right hand corner. Let's grab the mask and we will do this, put it in the, the corner. Once again, you can see that the keyframes are already activating because we added our first keyframes up here. So every single time during the timeline that we move it around, it'll auto add the keyframes. And you're like, no, I want it to be right there. That's the perfect place. So then if we go here to our preview panel, you can see how it slowly moves around. So yeah, it's pretty nice. That's how you're able to do that. And if you want to reset this and you're like, no, I don't want any of this. What you're going to have to do is first delete the keyframe scroll back to the beginning delete the keyframe again restore and then go back to your mask because this is two different tracks your masking keyframes are down here and your position keyframes are up top on the the lighter gray so once again you'd have to go back over here delete it come back to the start and reset so yep that's how you do all that stuff that's how you're able to uh cut crop and mask your videos. So hopefully that improves your guys' videos and you're able to, to properly cut them and slice them and mesh them all up in the way that you wanna do it and hopefully you don't pull your hair out like I used to while I was trying to figure out how to do these things. So um, yeah guys, hopefully that was helpful. Uh, yeah, we're gonna end the video there. So like the video if you liked it, maybe share it with your friends if you think they'll find it helpful or informational. And uh, if you're new to my channel and like to see more videos, then click that subscribe button. You get notifications in your sub box every single time I post a new video and and uh, just in case those sub boxes don't work, because they usually don't, you can follow me on Twitter and you'll get auto tweets and stuff whenever I put out a new video. And I'm also pretty active on there and I'm willing to help you guys out. If you ever got a question, best way to reach me, always got a tab open somewhere with that. So yeah, I'm up to you guys. That's all I really got. Peace.